My name is Jason Adrian and I'm the project manager for the CADG Helix ISR platform. I started out as just a pilot and as I got to know the system more, I then um, later took over as the project manager. The Helix ISR platform consists of three main items. Number one is the, the aircraft, which is a stemmer motor glider S15. The second is the S-Plane X-Kit and X-Cube system. And the third is the Hensolt Argos 2 camera. We obviously had a number of uh, payloads we could pick from and the Argos was a very uh, obvious selection. Uh, reason being it suited all our needs. It's got excellent thermal imaging camera, near infrared sensors with all the great features on the Argos as well as it being proudly South African. Um, we've had hand salt support like unbelievable hand salt support which has really really been a great help. Uh, if we had any problems, any questions, hand salt was there at the drop of a hat to help us and um, it, it really was in my opinion the best choice we could have made and it, it's really serving our needs excellently making our night missions really really effective and making this a really effective platform. The main missions thus far that we've, we've um, tested with the Helix are uh, the biggest one we've done is anti-poaching in the Kruger National Park. Uh, we're able to operate with the ground station safely in, uh, based at the airport. The camera operation can go ahead smoothly without being cramped in a small cockpit. So for night operations in the Kruger Park for anti-poaching, this platform proved extremely efficient. Uh, we had a number of big successes, um, arrests that could be made of poachers. Um, other than that, we've also looked at anti-poaching for Abalone down on the coast um, towards uh, in Cape Town area and all of this without being detected with the thermal imaging camera, with the near infrared camera and to have the Helix airborne for between 8 and 10 hours. I think this system could be could be the, the, the thing that's missing from the anti-poaching fight at the moment. When we were down in the Kruger Park, we saw the, the horrendous activities going on by the poachers, the, the huge amount of poaching going on. They don't know that the aircraft is there. They don't know that the thermal imager can see them at night. This would be an excellent deterrent because after you've caught a number of people in the middle of the night, I think they'll start to wonder how is it that we're being watched uh, in the middle of the night with a handheld camera. It's so easy. It's as if you're in daylight. Um, with with ground-based radars from GEW, it's also it makes the system almost perfect every time. If you pick up with the ground-based radar, if a target is acquired, the aircraft flies overhead, looks at the GPS coordinates and almost immediately the target is located. And it can be seen, um, especially in a big area like the Kruger Park, it's not always very easy to drive to the middle of the bush to, to have a look at a target that may or may not be a person. Uh, it's extremely exciting to be on the cutting edge of technology, to be doing something completely new that no one else is doing. So Helix 1, as it stands behind me, is a manned surveillance platform. So Helix 2 is planned to be an optionally piloted vehicle. So the aircraft could possibly be operated unmanned. Uh, the unmanned system, initially, I was a little bit skeptical about, but after going down to S planes and seeing the system, as a pilot, I suddenly realized that, in fact, it seems the computer perhaps might think a lot even quicker than I do. Helix 2, because you re can replace the pilot with fuel, the endurance can go up, up to in excess of 20 hours. Helix 2 will, of course, also have an Argos 2. We're knocking on the door now of this platform being ready. I think it's going to be cutting edge and it's going to be right on the edge of the market of UAV and surveillance and ISR platforms.